Straddler, where are you? Get back in your cubicle. I'm not paying you to uncubicle yourself. Hey friends, it's March 14th, it's Monday, um, definitely felt like Monday. Um, just wanted to give you a little quick update before I plug in the next installment of Vintage Trailer Happiness. Um, yeah, I'm still working on everything. The old propane tanks from the front are both severely expired. So I'm taking those um, to a disposal place at the fire station. And I've picked up two new ones, so I'll be putting those on before next Monday, which is my appointment with the um, repair shop. So I got a laundry list for them to go through, um, wiring and propane tests and stuff like that to make sure everything's ship shape. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's the big day. I give work my 30 day notice. Uh, written official, I guess you would say. <clears throat> They've known for a while what my plans are, so they kind of know it's coming. I actually talked to my boss today. Um, but the written formal official notice is tomorrow. And then 30 days from now, I hit the road, hopefully. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of an update. And um, the next little bit of footage is... Well, about a month old, but I'm um, hoping to release a few videos in the next week or so <clears throat> to catch you up at least so you're, you know, within a few days of real time. Um, that's it. Uh, enjoy the video and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. So it's Sunday, February 14th. So that means it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, it's the Sunday of a long weekend. So I planned on being out here yesterday, but I ended up uh, kind of playing hooky and doing some running around and um, got a few things that I need for today. And um, also kind of took some time for myself and just kind of wandered around the camera shops and, you know, purposely didn't spend any money <laughs> no I didn't spend any money but you know the urge was there trust me the countertop I'm hoping to have in and pretty much done by tomorrow night um, that entails a few things uh, I have to figure out the foam for the iPad iMac cabinet where my iMac's gonna go and that has to be kind of arranged and stuff before I put the top on top and um yeah i got a few other little things i got a bracket that uh, might free up some storage space because the uh, spare tire was essentially going to go in this uh, cabinet on the right and um, i got a bracket that goes on the front of the uh, the trailer tongue um, and it looks like it should work i just have to cut a couple bolts down and then just bolt that up and put the tire on it and get a probably a cable lock just to make sure nobody messes with it and yeah after that um, I have more storage space what else do I got to do today yeah more trim filling putty making it look nice um, a few other small things that I'll get on kind of as I'm you know doing the bigger things wait for paint to dry etc etc um, my goal is by the end of this weekend to have, <clears throat> by the end of this weekend to actually have um, room to move in here, so I can start kind of like fixing other small things that are past beyond this front section. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to see the counter, etc. So that's that. Um, I'll be back with uh, some updates as I go, and I'll talk to you soon. So trim the. There's four bolts going here. I've trimmed two of them down so they fit right in there. And uh, so we'll go in there and then we'll uh, get the tire on it.
So, it's getting dark. It's the end of Valentine's Day. Uh, me and my new loved one spent a lot of time together today. Haha. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, so, uh, I think I got a lot done today. I'm not 100% sure. It's just kind of a blur. Um, I'll turn the camera on and show you what I did. We're trimmed up along here. Uh, my little screw holes filled. They still need to be sanded, but um, yeah, it's coming. Uh, this shelf obviously installed from before. Doesn't look like I did much down here, but oh, there's an orange shelf. And just because the way I screwed in the paneling, I decided to put another um, larger piece of uh, whatever it is, one by two in there. Or, I don't know, two by one and a half, or two by a half, I can't remember the sizes of wood. Um, so I need one more piece of trim that I'm going to put along the top. And then, obviously this is just filler in here, these spots, they'll be sanded and painted. Um, this is the orange shelf. So it's more or less put in there. So the countertop is outside here. That's where I've been cutting foam. Uh, that's kind of two coats of that orange paint. But the first one was on went on really light. It was barely doing any coverage at all. But by the looks of things, it should add up nicely when I put another, you know, one or two coats on. Um, I think I should have enough for two coats. And then, I did a little foam cutting. So this is where the IMAX is going to go. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it or get to it from the top once the countertop is installed. So, basically, I'm thinking that this piece of foam here, I might attach it to the door because the door is going to be down. It will come down like the rest of these other ones. So basically the same idea. Door will come down. Now if I can swing it so that it actually fits in there and does them what it's supposed to do, um, I will. If not, it might just be one of those things where I just pull out and whatever. So, so basically, if you envision the countertop on there, I'd have to reach in, grab this, pull the iMac out, Now because I got, and the reason I, this is actually the reason that I put, sorry, the reason I actually put the iMac in here is because I wanted to see, A, how far down I could get this to go, and then B, I now have room here uh, in front of the, the iMac leg. So I think I'm going to build a secondary shelf, or maybe even two in here. Sorry for the wobbly video. I'm seriously looking at a proper camera to do this kind of stuff. Um, there's just not enough room in here right now for a DSLR or um, much more. So I started with my phone and the battery's dying on it. It's got to be replaced. So, so this storage container, cabinet, whatever you want to call it. It's got my little little hole to pop it out. That, I'm going to uh, measure it and see if I can find some uh, some Rubbermaid bins. But that will become storage now that the spare tire is out here, mounted on there. So, that $24 bracket actually came in handy which I showed you close-up stuff of that a little earlier I believe so yeah I'm just gonna clean up before it gets dark put this slide this inside on top of the other wood in there and yeah I keep meaning to try and give these a sand so I can stain them I've got some funky stain for them but uh, uh I haven't had the, the spare time yet. So yeah, there it is so far. Orange shelf is in. Another couple coats of paint. I had to fill little screw holes where I screwed it down. Same thing's going to happen with the uh, 
with the big one too, but I just wanted to make sure uh, this iMac stuff was going to get, you know, fit properly, etc., etc. And now, since I'm going to build a little sub shelf, um, I got to keep the countertop off until that's finished as well. And make sure I give myself enough room to wrangle stuff in through the door. That's about it. And then some more trim. I got to pick up a few more feet of trim. Uh, attach that, fill holes, sand the holes, and do some do some funky painting. So as soon as the front gets done, I got to uh, take it into the shop, and I'm going to get the uh, appliances tested and the bearings done and the brakes checked, possibly redone, the axle checked because there was some weird wear on one of the tires, the old tires I pulled off. Um, what else? Oh yeah, wiring. It's going to get the new plug on the front and get, make sure all the wiring is ship shaped and uh, then we'll see which appliances work and which don't. Hopefully all of them do and go from there. So more coming, um, more tomorrow, and I'll talk to you soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. So here we are the day after Valentine's Day in February. Uh, it's family day here in Alberta, so uh, it's a holiday. And eight degrees outside, so I'm getting some more done. Uh, hoping by the end of the day I'll have this thing trimmed up, most everything patched, um, holes filled, etc. Um, maybe even sanded and uh, if, with any luck I'll be basically done the inside minus paint um, on the panels, the white the white paint. Um, the rest, well, there'll be another coat of orange on the countertop in the shelf, but um, with any luck, this front section will be finished soon. I'm going to build a extra little sub shelf in where the iMac goes because there's some a uh, little bit of headroom so I figure I could either put the inverter in there possibly hard drives um, although I might want those a little more portable um, so I'm thinking of a kind of a pelican case for those um, yeah it's coming slowly it's starting to look like I'm learning a few things actually so um, yeah I keep looking at the red button. That's why I'm like not looking at the camera. I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm new to all this, so cut me some slack. almost the end of the day it's about five o'clock so the sun's going down I just thought I'd show you guys what I got done today so let's start up here trim 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 and more trim trim in here up along there in the corner etc etc around the windows blah 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 now this is the, the exciting part here and it's hard to see but that is the desk. It's in. It needs a couple more coats of paint after I sand the screw holes because I did screw it down in the corners here just so it's not bouncing around too much. So that's it for today for the family day long weekend here in Alberta. Um, I'm just going to pack up now. If you have any questions, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, that's probably obvious to those who do. <laughs> But I'm kind of doing the best I, I can with what I've got. And I'm also actually trying to reuse some of the wood that was in here. Um, this cabinet down here that the IMAX going into, which still needs a door. That will be next weekend. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. I just reused uh, what I could. And, you know, why check it out if it's will serve a purpose. So from that, um, yeah, 
I'm going to try and tidy up a little bit before it gets dark. Pack the tools inside and, uh, yeah. Not much else to report. So check in for the next one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's like working with a monkey.